ridiculous. It's unfair to everybody here in the city who's calling for help. A Grady EMS paramedic speaking out and talking only with CBS 46 investigates about a push for change. Last week we told you a group of EMS workers were in the early stages of trying to form a union for the roughly 180 employees at Grady EMS. They provide 911 services to the city of Atlanta and 16 other counties across Georgia. Well, new tonight, a complaint has now been filed with the National Labor Relations Board charging Grady with, quote, unfair labor practices. CBS 46 investigator Rachel Polanski got a hold of that complaint, and she joins us live now with more on the charges. Rachel. These allegations include removing pro-union material and threatening employees who support unionizing. And while this filing did not list any specific employee names, I talked with a paramedic who wanted our viewers to know why he's supporting this effort. It's been a cluster. Like many first responders, this paramedic, who did not want to reveal his identity, fearing retaliation, got into the field to help people. That's why he's grown frustrated with current working conditions at Grady EMS. Time's getting longer, people getting sicker or more angry with us or dying more frequently because we're not able to get there. The push to unionize comes after a CBS 46 investigation exposed dangerously slow response times. For life-threatening calls, according to state records, that ranged from 22 and 29 minutes. And for less urgent calls, between 46 and 89 minutes. Statistics that did not surprise those on the front lines. The call taking varies from day to day based on who's sitting in the chair. The equipment that they have is outdated and impractical. And despite all of the suggestions, the feedback, the changes to the system as a whole that the ground level employees are offering, none of it is being heard. That's where he says the International Association of EMTs and Paramedics, or IAEP, comes into the picture. According to the complaint IAEP filed with the National Labor Relations Board on behalf of Grady EMS employees, management has, quote, interfered with, restrained, and coerced its employees by engaging in surveillance, threatening employees with the loss of benefits or termination for supporting the union, even increased supervision to intimidate employees. It's a poorly managed system and it's long overdue for a change. Grady EMS disputes these claims, telling CBS 46 investigates IAEP does not represent Grady EMS employees, adding the complaints filed are broad with no specific details provided. We respond to in the neighborhood of 350 to 400 calls a day. In an interview last month, the senior VP of Grady EMS blamed short staffing for the longer response times but said that Grady was already in the process of restructuring its dispatch protocols to improve those delays. We'll take the criticisms and the challenges, but we're going to work through them and we fix things. Meanwhile, Atlanta leaders say they're not sitting idly by as ambulance response times continue to rise. We don't want to be adversarial. We want to be a partner in this and have our own set of ambulances. That's why City Councilman and Public Safety Chair Dustin Hillis is pushing for Atlanta to start its own ambulance service. So it's the top priority. Not in place of, but rather in conjunction with Grady EMS. I want to see more ambulances purchased um, and strategically placed throughout the city. So far, the city has purchased two ambulances that will be based at a new fire station on Campbellton Road in southwest Atlanta, a neighborhood that has long been plagued by slow emergency response times. It's something the paramedic we spoke with calls putting a Band-Aid on a bullet wound. You've heard it for decades now. Atlanta can't live without Grady. The employees that you see when you call for help are tired of watching it die. And a Grady spokesperson went on to tell me that employees could express their concerns without fearing retaliation. Still, the paramedics I spoke with did not feel comfortable sharing their identities. Rick? 